Hello everyone, I'm Denise for Spiritual Growth Tarot and this reading will be for August 10th. I'll draw two cards for the morning and a center card for the theme. The middle card will be for the theme and the um, last two will be for the afternoon and into the evening. And oftentimes it's it's a you know a summary of, of everything for the day. But my question is always, what is it that we uh, need to know, or would be or it would be good for us to know in order for us to spiritually evolve, and um, you know take care of the energies of the day, the challenges sometimes of the day. So for August tenth, the and this will be uh, Monday it looks like we'll have lots of options and we're exploring our options. And I, I like that coupled with the Queen of Cups. So Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups together brings in, you know, what do we really care about? What is the most, uh, you know, important to us? It's, it's very sensitive and open and nurturing and caring uh, quality. And it, it comes from, you know, that pure feeling of what is it that I really, truly want? What matters most to me? And how do I, uh, what are the best choices, you know, to get there? So it's it's definitely a morning of prioritizing. What a great way to start the week, you know, to prioritize based on knowing you have many options. So, you know, there's it's just seven cups here, but honestly, the universe is much bigger than that. <laughs> So, um, and you know, it's hidden. You know, the cups are upside down in this in this image. So you have to trust your feelings because when you're exploring your options in the future, of course, you don't really know how it's going to go. Uh, you have, you know, your your possible false beliefs from the past that can be projected onto the future if you're not careful about being open. And uh, so that's, you know, where the element of emotional intelligence comes into this um, card where, you know, your, your false beliefs are cleared to the point that your real feelings can be trusted. So that's something good that maybe happened over the weekend and then this brings in the opportunity for even more options. Now, with the Six of Pentacles, the, the theme here has to do with, you know, this could be money that's coming in and going out and and looking at that like which is the most important I mean because we are going through we're all going through you know a recession here and you know are we going to get the loans that we need or will the um, you know will more stimulus money come through um, and so, you know, that's that's one of the challenging, it's about managing our finances. And, you know, do we have enough that we can loan somebody else that might need some real help? Uh, but the theme being for the day is knowing that there really isn't any, on a spiritual level, knowing that there really isn't any difference between giving and receiving, that when we're giving, we're also receiving. It is one infinite, you know, uh, exchange of energy that is just always there for us. Yeah, so I, I don't really see this as being a, a problem. It's just more of focusing on the priorities, like what do we really need and what can we let go of at the time? And, and maybe partly what we can let go of is some, some money to help someone else. Uh, you know, maybe we can donate uh, some money or maybe we can just help a neighbor or a friend or a family member uh, in, in knowing that, you know, things will change in, in the future. So moving forward into the rest of the, the day and the evening, there, there's something that we're, we are done with. There's some option that we maybe we took in the past and now... And now moving, you know, into the rest of the day, we realize that, you know, that's not the way I want to go. I do want to change that up. And and I'm, I'm going to walk away from this in the past that, that didn't work. So whatever, whatever you're really done with, uh, you'll be aware of it. Or something will come in in the afternoon that says, oh, I'm not going there anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. 
It could have been, for some of you, it could have been that you did loan somebody money in the past, and that's what, you know, why this card is here, showing that that's the issue. You know, and it could have very well been a family member because of the Queen of Cups here. So it could have been that you did, there was some options and you loaned some money, you know, to a, a family member and and maybe they're not using the money wisely. Like maybe you, you know, loaned one of your grown children some, you know, or older children some money to help them through something and then you, you found out later that they just went and partied with it, which, you know, can be pretty dangerous nowadays. So, so there's a walking away from something, you know, and that's just one example. You guys will have to fill me in and, you know, how this plays out for you. But there's a walking away from something that no longer works and you're done. You're finally done. And then from that being done, it opens you up to true abundance and, you know, healthy relationships and healthy um you know, this could be some celebrating at the end of the night, too. You know, be careful if you tend to like alcohol. You want to be careful not to drink too much um, because that, you, that could definitely be part of what this is about. But on the spiritual level, it is opening to all the, the abundance and the beauty of nature and knowing that we are we are held in a web of complete abundance. You know, you look up and you see the stars, you know, unless it's really, really cloudy, you can, you know, almost everywhere you are, you can see, uh, you know, some stars at night. So knowing that the web, the universe is created in absolute love and care. And if you can open to that truth, then you can walk away from anything that keep, could keep you stuck, you know, in, in the the going around and around in vicious circles in the from the past the truth is is that you know this this web that we live in this universe that we're in you know here we are on planet earth i think it's spinning at like 67,000 miles an hour and and not only is is it rotating we're within this you know galaxy in the solar system that's spinning through space and I can't even remember how fast that's going but you know it's moving you know like forward this way altogether uh, you know or this way whichever whichever way you want to look at it but it's moving and we're all rotating together and we don't fall off the planet so you can trust that we are in a web of safety and protection and love and if you don't believe that then that's what your reality will be you know, if you don't believe that there are ways to be safe and to nurture others and to take care of ourselves and, and you know, be in the abundance of, of the universe, uh, then, you know, if you don't believe that, then that's what you will get because that's just how it works. That life will always mirror back to you all of, all of your beliefs. So this, this last card here tells me, tells me just to believe in the love. The love is always there. And to walk away from anything that is false that isn't true that doesn't you know foster the the growth that you want to be in for your your life yeah okay so that's it thank you so much and i will be back next time and meanwhile as always take good care